It didn't have to come to this, but it's the price paid as both sides lay claim to their rights. A dead Cambodian soldier is buried. Another comrade was also killed during the shootout on Wednesday. It's not clear who fired the first shot, but the fighting was not completely unexpected, given that the tension at the disputed border area had been simmering for months. For now, it seems that the soldiers want to put the episode behind them. The Cambodians have freed the Thai counterparts they captured during the shootout, and the Thais have laid down their arms. <laughs> The mood is apparently so good that both sides are actually sharing a meal at this camp. And the decision now is that they'll conduct joint patrols at the disputed area. But coming to a long-term solution on the issue will take much longer. The Thai Prime Minister, who's also Defence Minister, visited the injured soldiers and offered words of comfort to their families. He says Thailand is committed to peaceful coexistence, but his troops have to protect the country's sovereignty. The border dispute became a flashpoint issue when the ancient Priya Weha temple was named a UN World Heritage Site. It stirred nationalist fervor among the Thais who claim that the temple belongs to Thailand. The International Court of Justice awarded the temple to Cambodia nearly half a century ago. But it did not determine the ownership of about five square kilometers of shrub next to the Hindu ruins.